The year is 1966. The first ever episode of Star Trek has aired on the TV over in America. Billie Jean King has won her first Grand Slam title at Wimbledon. Walt Disney has died aged 65. 200,000 people have protested against the Vietnam War. Rick Astley has been born. Major news that. Oh, and um, one other little bit. It's never been a better time to be a West Ham fan. We won the FA Cup in 1964. Won the Cup Winners Cup in 1965. Oh, and we won the World Cup in 1966. But, as ever, there is still more to win. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number one of our brand new series here on the channel, More To Win. We have time travelled back to 1966 and oh my gosh, what a time to be a West Ham fan. We are literally on top of the world. After we won the World Cup, don't give me any of that England won, won it nonsense. No chance. We won it. And so we are playing the season following that World Cup thanks to this brilliant database made by the mad scientist. His link is going to be down below to his Twitter page. And so if you want to give this a go as well with any team you want, then please do as well. The leagues that are playable, before we get into the teams and all that, is the English First Division. Italy is playable down to Serie B. The Scottish Premiership is also available. And the Spanish First Division. So guys, if there's any teams in any of those leagues you want me to have a look at in a future episode, please do let me know in the comment section down below. And so, yep, we've got the first game of the series today against Sheffield United. We've got Standen in goal. Jim Standen, I believe his name is. Let me roll it up. Yep, Jim Standen in goal. Dennis Burkett on the left. No, Jack Burkett, sorry, got myself confused. Burkett and Burnett looking very similar there. Dennis Burnett on the right-hand side. Bobby Moore alongside his mentor, Ken Brown, in the centre of defence. If it wasn't for Ken Brown, there wouldn't be a Bobby Moore. So, Ken Brown is as big a legend for me in West Ham history as Bobby Moore. And let's have a look at the God's stats. Bobby Moore's stats, 18 marking, 20 leadership, 19 positioning, 18 composer, 20 concentration. He is just the perfect defender. Little bit slow, but other than that, he is brilliant with only 9 acceleration and 10 pace. Not the quickest, but he more than made up for it. See what I did there? And no, and moving on. We've got Peters on the left-hand side of midfield. He, of course, famously scored the other goal in the World Cup final. And I've got his autobiography. And I've got it signed. I met him. Very, very nice man. One of the best experiences of my life, meeting him. And so let's have a look at his attributes. 18 free kick taking, 16 passing, determination of 18 and fitness of 18, and agility and balance, 15, stamina, 17. So I'm very happy with that. And who, who's he got alongside him in midfield? A very young Trevor Brookin, 17 years old. First touch already of 16, passing of 18. Not got the best physicals, but we haven't really got anybody else who can play in the centre of midfield at the minute. And yeah, just so you guys know, all the teams and all the squads, they are as they would have been during this season. I've turned transfers off for the first summer. 
so we can get a look at the teams, how they would have been. And hopefully might be able to do a few deals in January if we need to be. You never know. We could win all 20 games until January and be top of the league. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Ron Boyce, he's 23 years old. He's got 19 work rate. Uh, determination of 18. Bravery of 19. So he looks pretty good. And uh, he's got Bovington on his right hand side. And uh, now let's have a look at Jeff Hurst. The man, the myth, the legend. The only Englishman to score a hat-trick in a World Cup final. And yep, 19 finishing, as you might expect. Decisions of 18. Anticipation, 19. Balance of 19. And so, yeah, he is up top alongside Johnny Byrne. And that is going to be the team for our first game today. It's us against Sheffield United. And I'm going to put an early prediction in. 3-0 win, as you might have seen just over there, we've played two friendlies since I've taken over and we have scored 21 goals and conceded four. So hopefully we can carry that on into proper games. And so yeah, like I say, 3-0 win is going to be my prediction and I'll be back with you guys in just a second when we're in the dressing room. Alright guys, we're back. And Sheffield United are going with a 3-5-2. Interesting formation. Not quite sure that was used too much back in the 60s. If you know differently, again, let me know. I want to learn. I love learning about football. So if you know that any of these formations I come up against were used a lot of the time, please do let me know. And so they've got Hodgkinson in goal. Bell, Matthewson, Monks as their defenders. Shaw and Badger as the wing-backs. And then Birchinall and Wagstaff in the centre midfield. And they've got Reese and Woodward just behind Jones. Who's Jones? Mick Jones. Okay. And so, yeah, let's get into the dressing room. Let's go team talk. Let's go passionate. We're favourites for a reason. Make sure they're left in no doubt as to why. And actually, in real life, West Ham lost the first three games after the World Cup. So, typical West Ham, do decent and then do absolute piss for a while. But hopefully, we're going to put that right here today. Here it is, guys. First highlight of this series. Our keeper plays the ball long. We win it back. And Byrne tries to nod it to Peters, but he's the one who gets to it. But Sheffield United have taken it off him. Badger, badgering him for the ball. Goes to Jones with the long shot. And Mick Jones... With a thunderbolt of a goal to give Sheffield United the lead. Let's get rid of that league table. Don't need it this early in the season. And let, let's have a look at this on the replay. Badger winning the ball back. Nice through ball there. And Jones just keeping away from Bobby Moore. And powering the ball home. Okay. Not the first half I was expecting, lads. Only the one highlight. And to be honest, Sheffield United have bossed us. Nine shots they've had to our four. Three on target to our one. And they've had 52% of their possession. I'm not too sure what I've got to change here. Because I've got to change something. I think we put Peters and Bovington on attack. Go like that. And then... Brooking is not having the best game ever, but he's not. He's not that. He's not doing that much worse than anybody else. And I'm gonna put Burkitt on support. I said no. Put him on attack. Why not? Put him on attack and put Burnett on attack as well. And maybe try and go for a bit more sort of passing. I think we go for that. Take shoot on sight off. And go, throw it long. And counter press when we lose the ball. And just a standard defensive line. I think that's what we're going to do. Go for that. And hopefully we can get back into this game. As I'm going to go assertive. Come on lads, show a bit of desire. Yep, that's got most of them motivated. Come on lads, we can do this. Ten minutes into the second half, 
and it's our goalie clearing the ball long. Jeff Hurst nods it back to Boyce. He's got a man in space on the left, but it decides to go right instead. Burn it back to Brooking. Brooking in oceans of space. Boyce to Brooking again. Goes wide, but Shaw is the first one to get to it. Hurst wins it again. And Boyce with a nice little sliding tackle there to win the ball back. Bovington crosses it in. Badger heads it away. Brooking on his debut goes to Peters with the cross. Goes to Jeff Hurst. And he almost got his level. This is better. More highlights now. We're playing a lot better now. Keepers again cleared the ball long. Goes back to Boyce. To Bovington. And he loses it there. Oh no, this is not good. Thankfully, we win the ball back. Brown. Can he find a teammate? He does. Goes to Brooking. He's got Peters in space if he wants him. And he does. And now Peters. He's got a man overlapping on the right hand side. But he doesn't take it. Brooking in oceans of space. Goes to Boyce. Boyce with a long shot. And that's just over as well. And 25 minutes to go. We have been playing better. But we do need something to get us back into this. What do I do? What do I go for? Uh, John Sissons, what's your attributes like? 15 acceleration, 15 pace, crossing of 17. We're going to go f we're going to go for you, but we're going to put Peters in the middle. And Sissons can go on the left-hand side. Any other changes you want to make? Uh, how's old Harry Redknapp's stats looking? For 19 years old, he looks decent. Not got the best acceleration, though. Uh, I'm going to try and put him in the middle. What's his best, his best role there? Yeah, I'm going to put on Harry Redknapp in place of uh, Boyce. Let's go for that. And yeah, let's leave it at that and let's see. If that's going to do anything for us. Sissons with the free kick for us. Bobby Moore almost got the equaliser. But he's gone out for a corner ball. This is better. We've had three highlights in the last 15 minutes or so. And now burn it with the corner. Jeff Hurst with the header. But it's caught nice and easily by Hodgkinson. The highlight is still going here. Sheffield United coming forward with the ball. Goes back to Shaw. Now, can we win this ball back, please? That would be rather splendid. As I don't think we can for the minute. Bell tries to play it wide. Burkett heads it away. And it's going to be Byrne to get to it first. Can he find a teammate? He does. A very nice pass to Bovington. And now he's got Jeff Hurst in the centre. But he goes for Sissons instead. Crosses it in. Goes to Byrne. And that is one hell of a deflected goal. But I will take it. Johnny Byrne with, of course, his first of the season. And we are level in the game. Bovington got the ball there on the right-hand side. Crossed it to Sissons. And his shot was blocked. And no, it wasn't deflected. It, it was a straight shot from Byrne. So that's a very nice goal, actually. And now just demanding more. As we've just over 12 minutes left to go. Peters is in the box. Peters' shot has hit the bar. And it's gone away. And they've cleared it for a throw in. We are all over these. Sissons now with it. Wagstaff heads it away. Hurst to Bobby Moore. To Jeff Hurst. Oh, we're getting there. We are getting there. I think we're going to win this, lads. Just over five minutes left. Peters with a free kick. That was poor. This, I would assume, is going to be the full-time highlight as Peter's header off the corner is collected nice and easily by their keeper, Hodgkinson. And is the referee just looking for his whistle as he left it in the dressing room? No, he hasn't. And that is it. That is the full-time whistle. Game has indeed finished. And look at them stats now. They look so much better. Then in the first half, 22 shots to their 10, 9 on target to their 3, 
eight off target to their five. Possession was 50-50. We should have won that game. But a 1-1 draw, I will take that. That's a decent start. And hopefully we can move on in the next game. I'm going to go passionate. You are unlucky. Actually, calm. Uh, you are unlucky today. That's got most of them motivated. Uh, good effort. Good effort. And good effort. And that's got a few of the lads happy or confident. So I'm fairly happy with that. And uh, once this game is saved, we'll see what game we're going to come back for. All right then, guys. So, yep, yeah, just a few little news items there. Dennis Burnett is only out for one to three days. So he'll be back for the next game, which is against Liverpool. Do we want to see the Liverpool game? Do we want to see that next? Or do we want to move on a little bit? I say we move on a bit. Uh, come back. Come back around Arsenal Tottenham time. Something like that. Does that sound good? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We'll come back for our, come back for Arsenal and Tottenham. A London derby double header. Yeah, I think that sounds good. And so, guys, if you've enjoyed that video and if you're looking forward to this series, please do give me a massive thumbs up down below. Thumbs up on episode ones really do help the channel out. So please do give it a massive thumbs up. It really will help us out. If you're new around here, subscribe for more Football Manager content. Formula One content is coming at some point in the next week or so. And follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash badjokesgames and twitch.tv slash badjokesgames as well. The links will all be down below as well as the links to, to find Mad Scientist so you can download this database. And if you're not already, please do join the awesome FM Creators Discord. You can see the logo in the corner. Invite link for that will be down below as well. And yep, guys, I shall see you next time. Bye.